Scoop. What up? It's your boy Sinister Man. I'm back at you again with the second series of the GPS navigation series. Now, uh, my Qualcomm actually pulled up the route, so I wanted to show y'all um, tricks of how to use your navigation and your Qualcomm to help you out. You know what I mean? To travel along your route. So, let me uh, set this brightness up. Give me a second. Okay, so, um, basically what I'm going to show you is little tricks and trades. If you don't got a, a Rally McNally GPS where you can actually um, use that along with your Qualcomm. So, boom, let me tell y'all and take y'all here. Now, let me let it clear up. Okay, boom, you can zoom. This is where I'm sitting at, right? You can go to safety view, which makes your screen bigger, but I don't really use that too much. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to go to preview. Preview lets you know it's 37 steps that you got to take, 534 miles. So you can, you can actually sit here and stroll down. Well, not stroll down, minim uh, zoom out. And it actually shows you your route. Let me see if I can make this a little more darker. Because I know it's kind of hard to see with the light from the window. So. You see, like, you can actually see the whole, the whole route. Now, the map is kind of upside down. So what you can do is you go here. And boom, I flipped it upside down. And I can zoom it out. You see, Interstate 76, right? Now, when you click over here, you see how the map move? Click here. And you can move it over. But you can't. Let me move it over. Give me a second. Okay, you see that? 76 into 70. Going straight across, and that's your route. Now, I'm, some of y'all is having problems with like knowing where your exit is. When you get deeper into this, um, let me see if it's under preview. Like, when you start hitting these, Uh, actually show you the street names see so like right here Main Street I'll make a left and then on River Avenue I'll make a right now you click over here and this goes step by step you see exits it shows you the exits so even though that's on this when you go back to the navigation view and you start traveling it shows you the name of the street. All you got to do is zoom it in. And it'll show you the name of the street. And you can change it from 3D to 2D. Let me show you what 2D look like. You see that? It gives you a bigger... Uh, makes the name bigger. And let me zoom it out. So... And that's how that works. You know, so as you driving, let's say you're going up this street right here, right? And you don't know when you want to make this right turn. Let's just, for example. Alright, we can't really see it because I got to keep it this way. But it shows you the street and everything. The address and all that. How many miles for your next right turn? For going straight, I got to go 2.4 2 miles. Before my next step. 533 miles to my destination. I got to sit on night view. This is what day uh, daytime looked like. You see the exit? Look. 88. So you can actually. If you ain't got a rally me nally. The Qualcomm actually does work. You just got to know how to navigate it. And play with it. Let's zoom it out. 
See, I'm going to get over here and make like a left type of right turn. The only thing about this one is that it doesn't move. You know how like when I did it, when I went to preview page, like here, you see? I mean, oh, okay, let's do this. I'm going to buy me like one of those, you know, them, them, them pens that you use for like, the tablets and stuff like that, your phone, your smartphone, for the screen. Because it's kind of tricky. Like, down here makes it go left, so up here is going to make it go right. So, okay, here we go. I just learned how to do that with y'all, YouTube. So, don't feel bad. If you're a rookie, don't feel bad. Things happen out here. You know, you're not going to learn everything on training with your trainer. But, you know, if you got any questions or suggestions about video or you you're not sure about something just hit me up you know I, I don't mind doing video I don't mind helping y'all out that's what I'm here for you know I don't know everything I'm working on trying to get everything down pat cuz I don't think you can really learn everything about this game because trucking is unpredictable but um let's see how this works yeah see first Ave which is Madison Avenue and you can drive like this. Technically, you know, well, it won't drive on this page because it won't change the steps. The steps won't change. So you have to go back to navigation. But that just shows you, like, the layout of your turns. Um, there's no way I can record the Qualcomm doing what it do because I got to have both hands on my steering wheel. So I can't really bring you no video showing you how that work. Um, sometime in the near future, um, when I get some more cameras and stuff, I'll set that up for y'all. But that's how that works. You know, so anyway, how do you input your routes? You go here. All right, well, let's go back to the main, hit main screen. You can also punch in the address, dispatched, anytime. You get to a shipper and you miss the address, you hit resume and they'll recalculate everything. So, and when you're not going somewhere that's assigned to you, you just hit follow me and it'll just basically GPS will follow you wherever you're driving. You hit dispatch. I'm already here at the company. Uh, the loves, I'm not going to fuel at because I'm going to fuel at the loves that I want to fuel at. And there's the address and then you pick route. And that's how that works. Um, safety view. I kind of don't really. I don't really use this screen too much. To tell you the truth. Um, I guess this will move as you go. And you start driving. I never tried it. You know so. Um, another thing is. Let me turn the volume up. For all my rookies. Alright, when you're driving, right? Let's just say you wanted to read here the instructions. So let's just hear the. In 100 feet, turn right to Cedar Bridge Avenue. That's what you gotta do. You gotta just touch it. In 100 it. feet, turn right to Cedar Bridge Avenue. So let's go here, zoom it out. See that? Cedar Bridge Avenue. Right? Boom. After two and a half miles, continue straight on to South Clifton Avenue. Then, after a quarter mile, turn left to Main Street. Yep. Remember, Main Street is that step. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't announce your turns with the screen like this. This is just your layout. Like, if you want to get a mental image of what you got to do next. So, um, and that's it. You know, your brightness button is right here. Excuse me about my, my headphones in the way. That's how you turn your screen up. Turn it, you know, y'all already know this. But for y'all who, you know, who just starting to get into the trucking thing, that's how you turn your screen up. Sometimes you're going to roll past the button too many times. Um, your volume and all that. You can push for your home screen home. right here. Messaging. So that's it. My hours. You have service. eight hours and zero minutes of you remaining I mean? drive time. And my summary. So 
And that's what it is. You know, I, um, yeah, YouTube. So basically, that's the navigation with the Qualcomm. So I use both of those in combination. Plus, I use Google Maps on my phone and I use Google Earth so I can get a sky shot of the location of the building where I'm going in the parking lot where I can see where the trailers are at. So I know what street to make my left turns on because sometimes they'll give you uh, an a address to a location where you have the address um, and you get there and you don't know which which one is the one you turn in to get to the back of the building. So uh, I hope that helped y'all out. Uh, this is the series, series 2 of navigation, GPS navigation. And get yourself a smartphone. Rally McNally and practice playing with that Qualcomm and you be iron out here. You know what I mean? So Google Maps, Google Earth, um, Rally McNally, Qualcomm. Also, if you don't got a Rally McNally, stop in the, in the truck stop and buy this book. You know, let me see. I got to look in the mirror, make sure I got it so y'all can see it. Boom, right? Now, let me put this book down this way. And this book... You can actually go into the states and it'll show you the highways, you know, M's, S, and it shows you in the front of the page what weight scale, large parking, medium parking, small parking, fuel only, very limited, no parking. So that's what these letters on this side means. Rest area, you know what I mean? So this book is real good. You know what I mean? So get you the pocket truck stop guide. If you don't got the Rally McNally, this is the this and this is the same thing. You know what I mean? It's they they both the same thing. So that's the good thing about it. And of course, get you a Sirius satellite radio, so you can have your music. And you could be out here jamming like a trucker, jamming like a trucker, out here with your system bumping. <laughs> yeah, you too. This is your boy Sinister Man. Uh, this is Navigation Series 2. I hope this helped y'all out. I hope it really um, get y'all to really start looking into getting your GPS and why it's important to have your GPS. And even though I got my GPS, sometimes I might miss an exit. I got to go to the next exit, turn around, turn around, come back down, get off the exit. Then, you know, it happens. So don't beat yourself up. You know, stay relaxed, be calm. You know, take your time going around to uh, around corners. Um, take your time getting off the expressway on the off ramps. Man, remember the speed on the off ramps are for cars, not for trucks. You know, I don't want none of y'all tipping over on the side. So please be be safe out here. You know what I mean? I want all y'all be successful. Alright? Peace out.